Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about frequency division multiple axis. As the name indicates frequency division multiple axis, we are giving access to multiple users based on the division of frequency. Okay. So here what's happening is an FDMA frequency division multiple axis assigns individual channels to individual users. Each user will be given or assigned a individual channel okay so here what happens each user is allocated a unique frequency band or channel okay so everybody will be having their own channel or an own frequency band for the transmission or the reception of their signal okay now this particular channel assignment or frequency band assignment is carried out based on the first come first serve basis so whoever comes first or whoever's want to access first okay they will be assigned this particular frequency band or the channel in order to transmit and receive a particular signal okay so these channels are obviously assigned based on the demands by the user okay so based on the demand these channels are assigned uh, so that they can transmit or receive the particular data in the form of a signal okay so as we have already discussed each individual user will be assigned and each uh, a frequency band or a channel so same frequency will not be assigned for any two uh, different users okay so there won't be any same frequency assigned to a similar uh, two different users is a unique frequency will be allocated to each and every uh, user okay so it contains guard bands between uh, each frequency user to another frequency user such that there won't be any kind of adjacent channel interference okay so we can clearly if you see the diagram over here so there is a gap between gap between user one as well as user two right okay so there is a guard bands which will be guarding these particular two different frequency bands such that there won't be any kind of adjacent channel interference okay one channel will not interfere into another channel or another frequency will not interfere into uh, this particular current frequency so guard bands are very very important we have already seen in tdma and several uh, concepts like uh, guard bands will be guarding between these unique channels or the unique time slots okay such that there won't be any kind of adjacent channel interference okay so this fdma is generally implemented in narrow band systems okay so why narrow means how much narrow means the bandwidth of fdma is relatively narrow such that only approximately a range up to 30 kilohertz of frequency or the bandwidth will be allowed that's why we are considering it as narrow bandwidth okay so here fdma uses duplexes here duplexers are nothing but duplexers acts as a switch so whenever at the transmission and the receive, uh, receiving time these duplexers acts as a switch for transmitting the signal as well as the receiving the signal okay whenever they are in the uh, transmitting mode this duplexer acts as a transmitter okay transmitter switch whenever this particular source is in the receiving mode okay so this particular duplexer will act as a receiver switch okay so as this fdma using a switch switch called uh, duplexers uh, since both the transmitter and receiver need to operate at the same time this results in the increase of the cost okay so if you are going for an fdma uh, concept or an operation it uses duplexers due to the duplexers usage the cost might be uh, increased okay now same antenna is used to serve multiple channels or users suppose there are 10 users okay so we can't uh, uh, practically implement 10 different antennas for 10 different users right as they are using 10 different uh, frequency bands or the channel so help of a single antenna only okay we are uh, now going to serve multiple channels or users coming to the capacity of fdma 
the number of channels that can be simultaneously supported in FDMA is calculated by n is equal to BT minus 2 B guard by BC. Okay. So this is how the capacity of an FDMA is calculated. How many channels will be supported at a time? Okay. So, so n equal to BT minus 2 B guard by BC, where BT is the total spectrum allocation, how much spectrum allocation has been done. B guard is the guard band allocation at the edge of the allocated spectrum. Okay. And BC is the channel bandwidth. Okay. So based on these three things, total spectrum allocation, B guard is the guard band allocation. Okay. To uh, guard the individual uh, frequency bands allocated to different users and the channel, total channel bandwidth, how much bandwidth has been allocated. We are we need to consider all these things, okay, to see the capacity of an FDMA, okay. So once let us again have a quick overview of FDMA. So frequency division multiple axis, as the name indicates, it gives access to the multiple users based on the division of the frequencies, okay. So each user is allocated a unique frequency band or channel. This also assigned based on first come and first serve basis and also according to the demand it will be allocated to the users okay and guard bands plays an important role between each and every uh, user frequency band as well as channel okay so no uh, same frequency will not be uh, assigned for different users okay so fdma is generally implemented in a narrow band system that is approximately which ranges up to 30 kilohertz okay as the FTMA uses uh, uh, uses duplexers which access the transmitting switch as well as receiving switch the cost of the concept or implementation of the FDMA is little bit uh, higher okay the cost is higher or it is costly okay so a single antenna can also serve the implementation of FDMA or giving services to multiple channels or users okay how the capacity of the FDMA is implemented means, so it is based on the how many number of channel it can simultaneously support, okay. So the number of channels it will simultaneously support in an FDMA is given by n is equal to where n is the number of channels is equal to BT minus 2 B guard by BC, where BT is the total spectrum allocation, okay, and the B guard is the guard band allocation at at the edge of the allocated spectrum okay guard band and bc is nothing but the channel bandwidth okay so based on this the capacity of the bma has been estimated or calculated thank you